Welcome back, everybody. We are doing Batman, the Telltale series, chapter, or part two. Where we left off last time, we just had the party at Wayne Manor for Harvey Dent's run for mayor. So let's see what we can get into now. Same time, I feel like it's me being that type of hero. Dude, what does this world need? This world really needs heroes. We just don't have them other than you know, our men and women in law enforcement and our men and women in the military. Okay, on to episode one. Last time we had finished the prologue, Realm of Shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battering rams to force their way in, with breaking and entry incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. See what she was really after. Ooh. Yes, let's see what she was really So, last time I realized I'm not the best at clicking buttons real quick. <laughs> so this time we're going to try and rectify that. I'm trying to be a little quicker on my button pushing. Um, try to be a little, a little better in game. I'm trying to be better with my commentary too. I know that's been lacking in the last couple games, but we're going to keep going and see what I can muster up. Fell off a building for this? Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really dirty politics, huh? Oh, yeah. With the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. The newest addition. Can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Hmm. That sounds like it could be interesting. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. I suppose that Catwoman would have preferred the latter. <laughs> Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. She definitely did take your grappling. My grappling. Yeah, why am I saying yours? 
My grappling hook. I am the Batman. Sky rail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders I am the Batman. from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum bringing the total number of escapees from the half-prison, half-mental hospital to 15 this year. Only this is Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take public stand against the wave of vigilante action sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said Dent at City Hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigilanteism in Gotham from the up tick in citizen-led shootings to the costume superhero, he is quoted, Batman. Denton is currently enjoying a surge of popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlog indexes in the state. His groundbreaking Victims Assistance Program, or BAP, was part of a platform that drove his most recent successful bid for re-election since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at age 26. Police Lieutenant tapped to lead task force. Gotham City Police Commissioner Peter Grogan appointed Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a task force after criminal chatter in the Gotham underworld recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today, Lieutenant Gordon insisted that we are aware of nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing en masse in our city. At present, we are unknown, but not unnoticed. They are but not unnoticed. We will find them. Gordon earned an honorable dispar discharge from the United States Marine Corps URA, before joining the Gotham City Police Department and has quickly r risen through the ranks. He has frequently stated that the Marine Corps made him the man he is today. Marine Enterprise Funds Arkham Asylum The charitable arm of Wayne Enterprises, headed by Robert and Regina Zollerbach, <clears throat> the Court of Owls has announced funding for the new mental health care facility to replace the outdated Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and violent, oftentimes deadly prisoner escapes. But soon that will no longer be the case. The Thomas and Martha Memorial Hospital, as it will be called, they could come up with a better name than that will offer a mixture of maximum security confinement and modern mental health care practices to truly heal those that are suffering. Ambitious plans are already underway to transfer current Arkham inmates as soon as construction completes and the implement of the critical program of rehabilitation and release. Okay. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever is burning here has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid Ooh. the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any we'll reading of that a lot. far black smoke. Found as a wind enterprise of my parents. Dad was a physician, mom was a philanthropist. They worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expanding their vast resources to improve the city and its citizens. Murdered in an attempt at robbery by a man known as Joe Chill, deceased. Alfred Pennyworth, Wayne Finger Butler, faithful, patient, ever helpful Alfred. He's been a part of the family my whole life. He raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me. When, okay, I can't do that voice. I'm just trying to get dry through it. <coughs> my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. This is my butler, confidant. No secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains frequently about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Harvey Dent, Gotham City District Attorney, mayoral candidate, a new friend and best district attorney Gotham City has seen in years. His political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become mayor. Huh. He's caught so many great ideas for how to save the city. I think he'll be good for Gotham. But I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's too easily swayed by another with power, regardless of the murky morality. Hamilton Hill, Mayor of Gotham City. Exhibit A. And what's wrong with the city? 
Pills should have been thrown out of office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government in a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been enough to make any of it stick. He's rotten to the court, and one day, the city will realize it. Harvey's out there doing his best. Hopefully, this upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. Cat to burglar. Crimes, burglary, pay large, and any criminal on the scene. Tied to several recent break-ins, he's effective and doesn't leave any clues behind. Currently, the GC Pooh Hero knows he's Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. Penguin. Crimes, arms dealing, illegal boxing, acting, receiving stolen property. He was a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. We went off to boarding school in England, and there our paths converged. He seems to have fallen into your life crime. The last two decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet. Strange nickname of Penguin. What happened to you, Oz? James Gordon, Lieutenant? With over 200 successful and convictions, GCTV Major Crimes Unit associate, his associate with Barbara Gordon's daughter. He's good he by the book cop in a department that doesn't him. trust Batman. He, he was recently tapped to lead a Major Crimes Task Force and in impressive promotion. He's, so he's doing something right. Dead. I think he could be trustworthy and reliable source of info, but I need to cultivate that relationship. He's a family man. He's not willing to take necessary risks on the street. That's fine. I'll take, I'll take the risks. Vic Vale, the investigative journalist, Gotham Gazette. One of the Gazette's most ambitious and competent reporters. Let her stuff. Some of it can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She's been with the paper for a while, covered all kinds of beats. Someone like that is the kind. Someone like that has the kind of access others would kill for. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, we need to find out what she knows. Carmine Falcon, Skyline Club owner, head of the Falcon crime family. The worst kind of gangster when he tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, bribery, and fraud. I could haul him to jail, but he'd just walk the next day. Could shut down one operation, but two more would pop up in this place. His empire is vast and multi-layered. Finding hard, admissible evidence is required for a conviction. Gotham City, population 10 million. This city is like a living creature. It's always growing outward and upward. The people who live here are survivors. They have to be. And they deserve better than the corrupt, the corruption that infests this place. Arkham Asylum, established 1921. Gotham City's only maximum security psychiatric hospital for now. Updated in every way, building is falling apart. Equipment is antiquated, and the staff's methodology leaves much to be desired. When the Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital opens, these patients will finally get the treatment they need. Wayne Enterprises, established in 1870, a multinational corporation founded by my ancestors, covering all manners of manufacturing and finance. I inherited the majority stake from my father. But I'm not involved in day-to-day -day operations, however, the R&D resources have been helpful in pursuing my private interests. And that is that. Alright, let's see what is on this data drive. Perhaps uh, Batman spent time in the Air Force? Some of which have been occupied by families for decades. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. Well. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. <laughs> Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Uh, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle.
Well, this is obviously a targeted area. It is pink. Uh, Arkham Asylum should be somewhere. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. <laughs> hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left. In Carnival's. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> for the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Well, back when it still I'll had agree. one. It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. But hopefully she's just cat a tourist. Isn't necessarily evil. No, I already checked the codex. It's more of a chaotic neutral. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Uh oh. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. Yes. I was talking about Bruce. Oh, well. Now, I think that would be my biggest problem. I would let, no one's gonna if I was Bruce Wayne, I would let Batman me. take over completely. There would be no Bruce Wayne. Nobody would know who Bruce Wayne is. Nobody would ever see Bruce Wayne. If they put it together, it would just be the man's office. Kind of like do all the long third nights movie. and close calls we've endured to get here. Dark series. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. <laughs> Old men worry. Could you imagine so Alfred as a gift? I mean, he's an SAS. One more worry for the list. Troop to begin with, he was in the SAS. Uh, and now, now, in the Gotham series, he's a total badass. And I don't doubt. I thought I saw Oz. It's been what? Uh -oh. 20 years? Last time I saw him. I don't doubt that I'll great kicks in Indeed. Serious, but... You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning As I've said in the other story games, I've never played any of these, and I've never I watched the played through. Idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, well he was always well, that depends on how you know the Penguin and what <laughs> the part fun of the comic trouble. series. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. Yes. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Ooh, foreshadowing. Love foreshadowing. So fun. Cobblepot Park. Oh, I got a trophy. I don't get many of those anymore. Is that in the game? Where are you, Oz? 
definitely wouldn't be wearing a white button up. Wait, 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 no, 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 I didn't check that. Can I go back? Okay. All right. All right. Park definitely does look sad as comparison to what it would have been or should have been. But I mean, that's like all towns, all towns. Something stops. Like I'm from Pittsburgh, so when the mill, when a lot of the mills shut down, the neighborhoods went to crap fast. And unfortunately, that's just the truth of things. Oh, this poor guy here. How about those you can help? Uh, thank you, sir. Loser or not, help out the people you can help out. <coughs> so sad the society gets this way sometimes. Oh, this is gonna look good down there, but. You're still not wearing the right clothes. Anybody that's anybody's gonna pick that out in a heartbeat. <sighs> Great. There's the statue, but no eyes. Okay, we're gonna look around before I head down to the statue. There was a guy with a mohawk over here. I'd like to see. You. There he is. I'd like to talk to him for a minute. Maybe I can figure something out. Hey. Beat it. You gotta be ignorant, bro. Maybe I was coming over to offer you some changes or something. Or maybe I wanted to bum a smoke. Do want to look at the plaque? Okay, uh, couple Paul Park established. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Or I'm not going to have a chance to read that. That's okay. Watch wallet cash. What this? Goes through you. Oh, you're gonna regret this, pal. Hey, you heard him, man. You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. Really? Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're the moment! Come here! You think that'll do? Stay down! Seems to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Ooh. Ow. Okay. You want to kill that guy? This is my park. Mine. You hear that? All right, Penman. <laughs> oh. Not hey, the Bruce. Rich used to be. You got a little. Uh... Wah, 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 wah. Hey. Good as new. <sighs> Woo. That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Oh, come on, Two really? decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. 
Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Well... Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, well, unlimited yeah. potential. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Oh, Although, I, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... Hmm. It'd be a treat to watch him in pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. <laughs> Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich okay. and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. Oh, yeah. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? But I can help I've you got with the money that I have, Bruce, the power that I'm I have, really I can help you make a better Gotham. Which is why way. I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. I'm always on the right side. I'm Batman. Good seeing you, Bruce, <laughs> but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. At least not crack rocks. Night? Why would... Okay. Well, I mean, it's only six, so... At eight. Possibly. Alright. Arkham Asylum. version of the Batmobile? Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce! Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> no, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. 
And worse mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God mm -hmm. forbid escape, are even more dangerous than mm -hmm. before they went in. Arkham Asylum mm -hmm. is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, about himself, no matter the cost. That yeah. night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Oh, that's beautiful, guys. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. What? Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Ruh row. <laughs> If they find the bookcase, I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Cause that bookcase leads to everything else. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. 
If he battles uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. Good. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I... Wayne, enterprise-wise, I don't. to see the alternate universe Bruce? where Thomas Wayne becomes a Batman and Martha becomes I, the Joker. I, didn't mean I would to love to see a but... game about that. That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, it's, it's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Okay. Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they, they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. Yeah. Hill also By has tonight, to this up. scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage you can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Not necessarily the wording this, I would have Bruce. changed, but... The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Riley. 
Not the wording I would have used, but definitely, definitely the way. I hate to admit it, but everyone yes. smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents' not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Just stay calm.